Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. My name is James, and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema. Well, welcome to part two of this three-part series where I'm going to show you my complete Criterion Collection, my complete collection of Criterion Collection Blu-rays, 4K Ultra HD, single editions, and box sets. So this is a series I've been wanting to do for some time. I did a poll on my community post where I asked this community if you would be interested in this content and had an overwhelming show of support for these videos. So I'm really excited to share with you my collection as of February 2022. And I have to caveat that because my collection continues to grow. Of course, with the potential flash sales coming up with the Barnes and Noble 50% off sales that occur a couple times a year, I am always adding to my Criterion collection, even on off sale months, you know, I'll pick up some exciting titles that I want to get on day one that I don't want to wait for that sale. So there are titles like that. A couple of them are coming up in March, actually. So if you may recall, in the first video in this series, I covered the top shelf in my collection of my single edition Criterion Collection 4Ks and Ultra HDs, and that covered spine numbers 2 through 452. In this video, in part two, I'm gonna cover shelves two and three in my setup over here, where I will go through spine numbers 469 through 909. And in the last video in this series, I'm gonna cover part three. I'm gonna cover the spine numbers above 909 and my box set. So three part series, this is part two of the series, shelves two and three, spine numbers 469. So let's head over to the shelf and let's see what we have. Let's go. All right, so this is my main Criterion shelf. This is where I keep most of my single edition Criterion Collection 4Ks and Ultra HDs. And as you can see here, it is a four shelf setup. And as I mentioned in my first video, I am looking for some better shelving options. So if you have any uh, thoughts on that, definitely let me know in the comments below. But let's go ahead and we're gonna cover shelves two and three in this video. Let's go. All right, so now we're on shelf number two. We're gonna start off with spine number 469 over here, which is The Hit. This is a film by Stephen Frears. This stars Terrence Stamp. This is a really good film. This is a title that I saw on DVD in Barnes & Noble for many years. And I just waited for this to finally come out on Blu-ray, to come out on a Blu-ray upgrade. It did, I believe, a couple years ago. I picked it up. This is a really, really good film. Really enjoyed the hit. There's a review of on my channel of this title, so definitely check that out. The Friends of Eddie Coyle, spine number 460, 475, excuse me. Really good film. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. This is one of those editions that's in a standard blue case. I think it's because maybe the connection with Paramount or something. There's some, uh, I'll have to look up what the deal is with this edition, but this is a Criterion Collection edition that comes in a standard Blu-ray case as opposed to the uh, typical Criterion case. The Human Condition. This is spy number 480 in the Criterion Collection. This is an epic series of videos. Highly recommend it. I have a review on the channel that I did back in the summer. Definitely check this out. Roman Polanski's Br Repulsion. Jean Dillman, 23, Croix de Croix Mirce, uh, 1080, Bruxelles. Wings of Desire, Gomorrah, Downhill Racer, Che, Paris, Texas. This is one of my favorite editions in the entire Criterion Collection at spine number 501. This stars the great Harry Dean Stanton. This is a really, really good film. Natasha Kinski is also in this film. This is an amazing, amazing film, as well as Revanche, spine number 502. This is a really, really good film. Highly recommended. Hunger, Bigger Than Life, the stars uh, James Mason. Really, really good film. Vivre Sa Vie, Jean-Luc Godard. Stagecoach, this is a John Ford film at spine number 516. Close Up, Abbas Kiristami, 519. Mystery Chain, Mystery Train, excuse me, by Jim Jarmusch. Red Desert, starring the uh, wonderful Monica Vitti. The Thin Red Line, The Magician, Ingmar Bergman. This appears in a certain box set that I'll get to in video number three. Pass of Glory, Stanley Kubrick film, Kirk Douglas, amazing film. One of the best supplements I've ever seen in all the Criterion Collection is a wonderful interview, I think on the Merv Griffin Show starring Kirk Douglas. Uh, well, that includes Kirk Douglas. One of the best 
interviews of an actor I have ever seen, period. Definitely check this out. House, great film, Darjeeling Limited, the great Wes Anderson. Have a taste of Wes Anderson films coming up here very soon on the channel. Night of the Hunter, one of the scariest movies you'll ever see. Masterful performance by Robert Mitchum. Down here, the great Charlie Chaplin. Modern Times, Kronos, Guillermo del Toro, Broadcast News, Fish Tank, Sweet Smell of Success, wonderful edition from Criterion um, that I highly recommend. Blowout, one of my very first Criterions, John Travolta's probably his best performance, great film with him, Nancy Allen, John Lithgow, great Brian De Palma film from 1981, Something Wild, The Great Dictator, Charlie Chaplin film, Kiss Me Deadly, The Killing, Mr. Kubrick, Secret Sunshine, The Complete John Vigo, Carlos, Kuroneko. I was so blown away by Onibaba that I had to pick up another one of this director's films, Kuroneko. I have yet to see this one, but it's been recommended by several people, so I picked it up. So it'll be one of my, may, maybe a backlog treasures entry. We shall see. This is the red, uh, blue, and white trilogy, blue, white, and red from uh, Christoph Kislovsky. Great films, great films. 12 Angry Men, classic, classic film. Design for Living, Godzilla, Anatomy of a Murder. This is also featured in the Columbia Classics Part 2, uh, Volume 2 set and on a 4K, but this is a great Criterion Edition. Harold and Maude being John Makovic. Certified copy, Abbas Kiristami, The Gold Rush, Charlie Chaplin, Shallow Grave, Quadrophenia, The Game, Sorry, Michael Douglas and Sean Penn, one of my favorite Criterion editions. This movie is so, so good. Rosemary's Baby, amazing, amazing horror film. Um, starring Mia Farrow, John Cassavetes, Ruth Gordon, amazing film. Weekend by Jean-Luc Godard, The Following. This is a great film with, uh, directed by Christopher Nolan. This is, a, this is a really good film to watch because when we think about Christopher Nolan's films being so grand and epic, this is Christopher Nolan's beginnings. When he didn't have big budgets to work with, he had to improvise, you know, he didn't have the biggest crew in the world. This is a great example of seeing a filmmaker in his beginnings before he had all of the, you know, uh, high production value trappings. So this is a great addition to following. The Man Who Knew Too Much, great Criterion edition of a Hitchcock film with a wonderful restoration demonstration in it, in the supplements. The Kid with the Bike, On the Waterfront, Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando, brilliant. Chronicle of a Summer, A Man Escaped, Badlands. Really good Terrence Malick film starring a very young Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek. Definitely check it out from the early 70s. Monsieur Verdu, another Charlie Chaplin film. Repo Man, nice digipack edition. 310 to Yuma, Medium Cool. This is one of my favorite editions in all the Criterion Collection. This is my, actually my very first Blu-ray review on this channel is of this edition, Medium Cool, from 1969 from Haskell Wexler, starring Robert Forster. This is an amazing film, folks. Highly recommend it. It covers America in, the 19, in 1968, a year where America was on fire. America was, was in the throes of a lot of turmoil in 1968. Check out Medium Cool. Life is Sweet, Mike Lee. Things to Come, Marqueta Lazarova, Safety Last, Babette's Feast, The Devil's Backbone by Guillermo del Toro. Seconds, really, really cool film starring Rock Hudson. To Be or Not to Be, Ernest Lubitsch. La Note, Michelangelo Antonioni uh, film. City Lights by Charlie Chaplin. Francis Ha, this is a really, really cool uh, film from Greta Gerwig. I love this film, it's in black and white, modern film in New York City, but shot in black and white in a very interesting visual style. Really dig this film. Investigation of a Citizen Above Suspicion. Nashville, Tuki Buki, have yet to watch this one, but I've heard good things about it. Thief, uh, starring James Caan, one of my early Criterion editions, one of the very first editions I picked up. It's a Mad Mad, Mad Mad World, really funny film. The Long Day Closes. Foreign Correspondent, probably one of the most underrated Hitchcock films. I'm glad it has a great Criterion edition. This is a good film starring Joel McRae. Really good film of Hitch a really good Hitchcock film, excuse me. King of the Hill, Fantastic Mr. Fox, 
stop motion film from the great Wes Anderson, Persona by Ingmar Bergman, brilliant film, part of that box set that we'll get to in, in, um, in video three of this series, The Freshman, Il Surpasso, Like Someone in Love. This is a really neat film from Abbas Kiristami. It's one of his films uh, that he shot outside of Iran. So great, great film. Red River, Good Western, starring John Wayne and Montgomery Cliff. Judex, A Hard Day's Night. This, has, this is the Blu-ray. There is a 4K edition of this out. So I, I decided not to get it for now because I'm pretty happy with this Blu-ray edition. Scanners, really, really cool Cronenberg film. Love Streams, E2 Mama Tambien, All That Jazz, Eraserhead, Macbeth, The Innocents, really cool horror film starring Deborah Kerr. This is a film by Jack Clayton, really good, creepy film. My Darling Clementine, great western starring Henry Fonda, La Dolce Vida. This is the shooting and riding a whirlwind, double feature from Monty Hellman. It Happened One Night, this is a great, great film here starring Claudette Colbert and Clark Gable. And Safe up here starring Julianne Moore. So those are the Criterion Collection single editions on shelf two. And we will now shift to shelf three. All right, on to shelf three. We have down here at spine number 740, The Bitter Tears of Petra Von Kant. We have 742 coming in here at The Palm Beach Story, a nice film with Claudette Colbert and Joel McRae, a nice fun film there from Preston Sturgis. La Cienega, Every Man for Himself, a very interesting uh, modern Jean-Luc Godard film from 1980. Don't Look Now, A Day in the Country, The Soft Skin, Ride the Pink Horse, The Thin Blue Line, really interesting documentary. Odd Man Out, starring James Mason. Charles Chaplin, Limelight, really good Chaplin film. The Rose, The Merchant of Four Seasons, The Confession, coming in at spine number seven. 59, The Bridge, The Fisher King, with Robin Williams at 7.54. Here Is Your Life. The French Lieutenant's Woman at 768 in the Criterion Collection. Day for Night, Dress to Kill. Really, really good Brian De Palma film. I like this edition from Criterion. Angie Dickinson, Michael Caine, classic. Two Days, One Night. This is a really good film starring Marion Cotillard. Uh, I really enjoyed that. I highly recommend seeing her in a different type of a, of a performance. This is a really, really good film, French film. Blind Chance, Breaker Morant, Room, A Room with a View, Moonrise Kingdom from the great Wes Anderson, The Brood, A Special Day, Mulholland Drive coming in at spine number 770. This is the 4K Ultra HD edition of Mulholland Drive. I also have the standard Blu-ray that came out several years ago, but this is the 4K Ultra HD. Code Unknown, Michael Haneke film, In Cold Blood, Bob Dylan, Don't Look Back, one of the best documentaries in the Criterion Collection right here from D.A. Pennebaker, Speedy, Harold Lloyd film, The Complete Lady Snowblood, really, really cool films here. If you're a fan of Quentin Tarantino, like I am, and you love Kill Bill, Kill Bill is my favorite of Quentin Tarantino's films, and Kill Bill was totally inspired by Lady Snowblood, so definitely check this out. The American Friend, Inside Lewin Davis, really cool Coen Brothers film uh, that I, I really enjoy starring Oscar Isaac. Justin Timberlake is in this. This is a really good folk music film. Great video, almost perfect video, perfect audio, great AV experience of a really cool film, Inside Lewin Davis. Gilda, Death by Hanging, The Kid, one of my favorite Charlie Chaplin films, one of my top 25 movies of all time. The Graduate, starring Dustin Hoffman, I Knew Her Well, Manchurian Candidate. I've heard that this is getting a 4K from Kino Lorber this year, I've heard. So, uh, but this is a good addition. This is a really, really uh, good film with Angela Lansbury in it. A Brighter Summer Day. This film was recommended to me to watch by Daisuke Beppu. It's been in my, it had been in my backlog for a long time and I finally watched it after I appeared on his channel and he talked about A Brighter Summer Day. So I said, hey, time to pop it in the player. Glad I did. Great film. It's a long watch. It's over three hours, but it's well worth it. 
really, really good addition in the Criterion Collection, A Brighter Summer Day, Spine 804. Only Angels Have Wings, the Kennedy Films of Robert Drew and Associates. This is a great, great documentary that I highly recommend. If you have an interest in history, if you want to know more about the 1960s and the Kennedy administration, uh, you know, from before he was president, during his time at president, show, as president, shows him in certain crisis moments, uh, key moments of his presidency, and then of course, you know, after the assassination. This is an amazing documentary, I highly recommend. Phoenix, the In a Lonely Place, Humphrey Bogart, The Naked Island, The Player, Robert Altman film, La Chien, Fantastic Planet, Mr. Kubrick, Dr. Strange Love, or How I Loved to Stop Worrying, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. Really good film. <laughs> Love this film. Clouds of Sills Maria, The In Laws, really good, funny film here. Muriel, or Time, or The Time of, of Return, A Touch of Zen at spine number 825. Coming down here to another Terrence Malick film at Spine 826, The New World. Spine 827 is another Robert Altman film, one of my favorites of his. Might be my favorite Altman film. I think it might be. McCabe and Mrs. Miller. This film was shot uh, in a very inventive way, has a very unique visual style to it, a gritty but beautiful uh, almost like a painting. It, it's just such a beautiful looking film to watch. Great Western from the early 1970s. It stars uh, um, Warren Beatty. Really, really good film. Ingrid Bergman in her own words, A Taste of Honey, Chimes at Midnight, The Great Orson Welles, Cat People, Blood Simple. I think this might be the, the Coen Brothers first feature film and I am glad it's in the Criterion Collection. Valley of the Dolls and Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. Really nice couple of films. Highly recommend these as a double feature. They are two very different films, but I highly recommend these two films. Of course, Valley of the Dolls stars Sharon Tate. And then this uh, next one is, a, is, is the next movie in that series. But they're two very different films, but I highly recommend watching them as a double feature. The Decalogue, Decalogue, 10 films from Krzysztof Krzysztofski that are really, really good. 10 episodic type films. That, is, that, that I really would highly recommend. I need to revisit these because it's been a, a while since I've seen these. It's been a minute. So I need to revisit the Decalogue, but great series, 10 episodes and all. Pan's Labyrinth, Guillermo del Toro classic film. Boyhood, Richard Linklater film, shot over multiple years of, of, a, of a young man's life as he grew up. The Executioner, Akira Kurosawa's Dreams. Beautiful, amazing, incredible film in the late career of one of my top five directors of all time, Akira Kurosawa. This is a great cinematic experience. Punch Drunk Love, Adam Sandler, One-Eyed Jacks. I think this is Marlon Brando's only directorial um, film. The Squid and the Whale by Noah Baumbach. The Asphalt Jungle, His Girl Friday, really, really good film um, that I highly recommend starring Cary Grant. Something Wild, Black Girl, Osman Simbin film, very, very good film from that Senegalese director, Osman Simbin, that I highly recommend. I have a review on my channel of his other edition called Mandabi that you will see in uh, video three. This is his, uh, I think this film might be before Mandabi. I'll have to check which came before which, but Black Girl's another film from director Osman Simbin, highly recommended. Kirsten Johnson, camera, camera person. This is a great film from that director that I highly recommend. Uh, there's so much uh, interesting material in this particular edition, including material where she covers some footage of her mother uh, before her mother uh, passed away. Uh, I'm looking forward to picking up her other film that recently came out from the Criterion Collection, Dick Johnson is Dead, where she uh, does some coverage of her father um, as, he, as he is aging. So Kirsten Johnson, very fascinating filmmaker. This is a great addition from the Criterion Collection. Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown, really, really cool film. Mildred Pierce, classic, classic, classic film. Ka a Kanoa, A Shameful Memory, Being There, Blow Up. 
So Blowout is one of my favorite additions in all the Criterion collection. It was inspired uh, by this film, Blow Up, which came out in the 19, late 1960s. So definitely recommend this film. Buena Vista Social Club, Woman of the Year, Catherine uh, Hepburn and Spencer Tracy. Tampopo, this is a really, really cool film. The name of the director is escaping me at the moment, is Juzo Atami. Yes, and Juzo Atami is actually, actually there's a film that is coming out in May. It's part of the May releases in the Criterion Collection called The Funeral from this same director. But this edition, Tampopo, highly recommended. If you love ramen, definitely check this film out. It's a beautifully shot film. The picture quality is almost perfect. And it's just a fascinating film to watch. And as you go through the special features, you will learn more about ramen than you could ever possibly imagine. Ramen and noodles, Tampopo, amazing addition from the Criterion Collection. Rumblefish coming in at spine 859 or 869, excuse me. Othello, 870, Ghost World, Thor, Birch, and Scar Scarlett Johansson, Scar jo, appear in this film. They Live by Night, The Lodger. This is a great early film, The Story of the London Fog. Great early film from Sir Alfred Hitchcock that I highly recommend. The restoration work on this was phenomenal, looks great, and I highly recommend this edition if you love Hitchcock or just love early films. Great film, The Lodger. Lost in America, really nice film from Albert Brooks. Really funny film with him and Julie Haggerty. Stalker from, um, <clears throat> gosh, his name is escaping me. From Tarkovsky, yes, gosh, good grief people. Sorry about that. Yeah, Stalker, really amazing film. The Breaking Point, The Festival, Barry Lyndon, one of the great films from um, firm Stanley Kubrick that I highly recommend. Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me, a film from David Lynch. I've seen this once um, and I'm still trying to figure it out. So, so I wasn't a, I didn't follow Twin Peaks during its, its uh, TV run. So I'm not as familiar with that whole story, but this is an interesting film that I need to actually revisit so I can better understand, you know, what this story is, is speaking to and what it's telling me. So I'll have to come back to Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. The Philadelphia Story. Does it get any better in classic Hollywood than this trio of stars here? Cary Grant, Katherine Hepburn, James Stewart. It doesn't get any better than this, and this is an amazing addition. This is spine number 901 in the collection. Jabberwocky, Election, Matthew Broderick, and, um, and Matthew Broderick and Reese Witherspoon. Really, really cool film by Alexander Payne. I enjoyed it, I've seen it once. Really good film. Of course, classic, The Breakfast Club, John Hughes film, amazing, amazing. Spine number 905 in the collection. I, Daniel Blake is probably, well, it's one of my top 25 um, films of all time. It is an incredible human story. And it's directed by Ken Loach, and this is a screenplay by Paul Laverty. And it basically deals with this man, Daniel Blake, living in Britain uh, in modern times, uh, struggling with the British social system to fight to get the benefits that he worked his entire life to earn. And just going through the red tape and bureaucracy and just the struggles of that. And, and then eventually, you know, befriending a young uh, lady who's a single mother, has a couple of kids and they're, you know, poor, struggling, uh, li living on government benefits, and just really, just an incredible human story. So I, Daniel Blake, highly recommended spy number 906 in the collection. And the last video I'll cover here is Night of the Living Dead, spy number 909, the great film from George Romero. This is an amazing addition from the Criterion Collection. This film is from 1968 and just a great, great horror classic. So there you have it. Those are shelves two and three 
in my criterion shelf, my main criterion shelf. Let me know in the comments below what other Criterion Collection editions do you have or that you would recommend that come between spine numbers 469 and 909 that is not featured in this video that you would recommend. And let me know what other Criterion Collection editions you are also looking forward to picking up in the month of March, April, and May. Let me know that in the comments below. The next video in this series will be part three. It'll be the final video in this series, and I will cover shelf four, which will be spine numbers above 909, as well as my box set. So that'll be in video three. But this is where we'll leave it for now. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time at the movies. Peace.